Okay. <clears throat> Welcome. This is the June 27th select board meeting. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm John Martin. To my left is Francine Tishman and Jim Labrie. To my right is Charlie Kanicki. And Rini Labrie is absent. Rini, not Labrie. Rini <laughs> Groden is absent. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we're being recorded, I believe, and going out live. If you can't see us, hold on a few minutes. Ryan's working on it. So we're going to go with the Pledge of Allegiance and join us. Hopefully this will be a short meeting. Uh, first item on the agenda is Finance Committee. Jessica and Soares, is it Soares or Soares? Soares. Soares. You put in your application to be on the Finance Committee. Would you like to come up to the podium to introduce yourself and the folks at home can see you? Okay. Um. Looks like you have your master's in business administration, you're a business owner and a bookkeeper. That's correct. What's your business? It's uh, bookkeeping. It's, oh. I uh, just run a super small bookkeeping company, run it from home. And you're on Glendale Woods. So why do you want to put your foot on the finance committee? Not, not that we want to dissuade you from it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am very interested. We are recent transplants to Southampton. We moved here in January of 2017. Um, my experience so far is that this is a very involved community. I have two daughters who attend Norris, um, and I am just very interested in keeping Southampton as um, as positive a community as it has been, as well run um, as it can be. And this seemed a, just a very good opportunity for me to kind of get my foot in the door and see the background. That's an excellent place to get your foot in the door. We're glad to have you here. Welcome to town. Thank you. Uh, everything is in order, Ed? Everything is in order. Okay. Can we have and, a and if you do a motion by my calculations, uh, this would, appointment would stay in effect until the next annual election, which would be May 21st, 2019. 2019. Okay. Can we have a motion to that effect, please? So move. A second? Second. second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Welcome. You have to get sworn in in the clerk's office uh, okay. before you can actually go on the committee and okay. participate. It, and today is Wednesday, so she's not in. She's. Are you available during the day? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it would be next week. Okay. And just take that okay. to the clerk's office. Okay. Right. You go to get sworn in, sign it, and then she will tell me about it. Okay. John can let you know when the next meeting is. Okay. You know, we have four, right? We have four. four. four members? Yes. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's kidding. I hope. <laughs> I hope he's kidding. <laughs> okay, uh, hearings. There's none. None on the agenda. Reports. Uh, select board. Any reports, Charlie? I'm going to meet with the Board of Health Thursday night, so I have nothing now. Okay. Francine? Um, yes, I went to the Barnes Aquifer meeting the uh, Bay Pep meeting and in East Hampton, which was made up of the member towns, had representation. Um, certainly it's not my content area, and I was very happy to see that um, Kurt Beaujolais from the Water Department was also there. So uh, Southampton was well represented. Um, it was a presentation by professor from UMass, a, a geologist, which was a little bit over my head, but it was, um, you know, it was a good introduction for me, and it, most important, the reason I went was not realizing that there would be someone else there, but I feel it's very important that Southampton be represented at these occasions, so that was why I went, and um, anyway, uh, I saw the contract the agreement among the four towns, and we have three representatives, one from planning, one from water, and one from conservation, and they all, those positions all make sense given the work of the uh, aquifer committee. So, thank you. Do you remember the geologist's name? No. 
I, I don't have my notes with me. Oh, I was just curious. Nothing with me, I guess, right now. Yeah. Jim? Nothing new since last meeting. Okay. Uh, I was involved with a contract negotiation committee for Norris School. Uh, that's an executive session. We're just starting off, so no other report on that. I had an open space meeting last week, and some of the items on the agenda uh, under new business are, pertain to that, so I'll, I'll wait to report more on that down there. Uh, old business. Building inspector, Tom Quinlan requests carry over one week vacation. We had this request at the last meeting, but there wasn't any backup to it. So we opted to have a special meeting to address this once he brought us more paperwork. And we have other items that naturally accumulated on the agenda. So, so I'm going to read it. Uh, Dear PPPB Finance and Select Board, I'm requesting to carry over 35 hours of vacation time to next fiscal year, 2019. For the majority of fiscal 2018, I was only paid 31 hours. In January, my paid hours were increased to 35 hours. The workload required for my position with inspections and zoning enforcement has increased considerably this year. I had to put in over 35 hours every week this year. I did not have an alternate until March this year to cover if I was away. I fully understand in the future I need to use this time. Sincerely, Tom Quinlan, Building Commissioner. So I move to grant him the one week carryover. Second. Okay, discussion on this? I, I guess I would ask Ed to avoid this in the future. I think most people should have a vacation plan in place at the beginning of the fiscal year so that they at least have plans to take it and you're aware of it and make sure that there's coverage when, when we need it. I think from my conversation with Mr. Quillen that he's fully aware that this will be the last time that he'll be able to carry over. But, you know, Tom, I will say, is very conscientious. Uh, in fact, I know he was in doing inspections this past Sunday. Uh, so I think he felt a little bit guilty until he actually had an alternate in place of taking some time off. So I'll stick up for him, too. Okay. okay. Where, where is the alternate? Were they, they coming from East Hampton or surrounding town? Do you know? It's one of the surrounding towns. It's one of the surrounding towns, and I can't remember which yeah, one it to, is. We used to have East Hampton, so I was just curious. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> Great. You know this. Um, Mr. Chair, can you uh, go back? To, uh, you passed over the town administrator report. Oh, you are absolutely right. Thank you. Sorry, Ed. I thought I finally got to a meeting where you actually forgot I was down here. Uh, maybe I was going to escape without getting any assignments. Not a chance. But, yeah. No, and, and probably normally for a special meeting I wouldn't have a report, but I just wanted to bring the select board back up to speed that after voting uh, the takings last Tuesday the 19th for the Glendale Road easements, uh, those were all recorded on Friday the 22nd in the Hampshire uh, Registry of Deeds. Uh, the notices to both the donating property owners and those that the town will be paying damages uh, were sent out yesterday. Um, they should, should, most of them should have received them today. I have filled out the required affidavits uh, for MassDOT. Um, at this point, we believe everything, MassDOT has everything to actually proceed uh, and schedule the bidding for this project, so. Do you know when the bidding will go out? I am not. Sure, but when I do f get a confirmation on that, it's my understanding is it's supposed to be during the third quarter of the calendar year, the first quarter of the fiscal year. But as soon as I get a confirmation of that, I will let you know. So remind us, is this work supposed to start in the spring, next spring? <sighs> I believe they were actually going to try to start this fall. Really? But okay. Yeah, but we'll find out. Hopefully we have a mild winter. Anything else? That was the only item I had that I thought pertinent enough to bring back up. Okay, thank you. Now on to new business. Uh, <clears throat> one is a date for a special select board meeting for a public hearing on the first right of refusal for 111 Glendale Road impossible purchase. Uh, and the second uh, is a date for a special town meeting discussion. So on the public hearing at our open... Uh, Open Land Committee, boy, I'm, I'm missing the name here. We open talked space. about open space. open space Committee. We talked about the time frame that we need to have the 
public hearing and the town meeting. In the public uh, hearing, we have to have two weeks' notice in order to post it. We had hoped to post it on July 10th, but we couldn't get the advertisement into the Gazette in, in from the right time frame. So we're here to select a new date. And I hope everybody has their calendars. In the public hearing, we're just going to tie in with a special select board meeting. And Maureen sent me her schedule for the week of July 16th, if that's what you're going to look at. Uh, Monday evening, she has ConCom at 6 p.m. Tuesday's free, uh, wouldn't, is not available on Wednesday, and is available on Thursday and not on Friday of that week. You're saying July 16th? Huh? The week of July 16th. Okay. So we are at... And I'm not here that whole week. Okay. Let me, do you need slash want to be here for the public hearing to, for us to explain what's going on in Glendale, or are you okay with not being here? I'm, I'd rather not hold it up, I mean, because I know you're with a time clock. Okay, so you're, you're okay with that? Okay, so again, Ed, what did you say for? Uh, for Rini, uh, she's got a commitment on the Monday evening at 6 p.m. for the Con Conservation Commission. She's open for Tuesday evening, is not available for the Wednesday evening, is available for Thursday evening, and is not available Friday that week. Okay, so the 17th is a Tuesday. Tuesday. <clears throat> uh, I'm okay on that Tuesday. Uh, what about the rest of you? I'm flexible, whatever. Yeah. Possible, it might work for me, but uh, I'm short this time, I'm not quite sure. And the following I'm off, so uh, I would only be available possibly the 17th and the 18th, but that's not firm at this time. Okay, so let's do the 17th, because that's, reading is not available the 18th, and you're gone that entire week, Francine, so I'd rather have one. And again, it's a public hearing, so it's not a, a matter of we all have to be here as long as three of us are here. It'll be recorded, right? So right. they can, okay. 17th, and set that at six o'clock? 6 p.m., yeah. okay. So you're gonna have the hearing before the selectman's meeting? Right. We'll make it part of the select board's meeting. I don't have a problem with it, I'm just asking. Yep. Yep. Okay. So then special town meeting discussion. We have to have a special town meeting for 111 Glendale, but we also need a town meeting for other articles. There are, uh, I know of two, Mr. Kanicki reminded me the possible third one, but I know that we would, we still need to appropriate from the receipts reserved for uh, appropriation for the last payment of the fiscal year to ECAT. Uh, we cannot appropriate those receipts before we receive the check from, from charter, so that is one item. Uh, and then the other item is uh, the police department's uh, emergency communications uh, equipment is failing quickly and they are going to be needing to lease the replacement for those, which would be a five-year lease. Uh, so being a five-year lease, that would need town uh, meeting uh, authorization. Okay. And we need to have the town special town meeting in before the end of the month. And then the end of which month? July uh, or August? July. 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 Okay. And then Mr. Kanicki reminded me that uh, might possibly want to put uh, an article on the special town meeting to uh, join the mosquito control district. Was that on? Was that on before? It was on before, but because we were eviscerating our budget, we pulled it. Right? We pulled it. Okay. Now this year, just to get into that, that's all being funded by a grant. Can I just interrupt for a second? Sure. They're not getting any reception at home. Yeah, we're, that's we'll bring it back as soon as it's done. It'll be up in the morning, probably. But 
So we're not broadcasting at all? Well, yeah, it's being recorded though, so it can right, be broadcast yeah. in the future. Okay. So we can't tell the people at home it's not broadcasting, but when they see the recording, they'll know. <laughs> so is it, Ryan, is that an, uh, an issue? Because we've had this a couple other times. Power outage at the station yesterday, so it's probably the server, because it's, it's scheduled to go up right now, so the only reason it's not is probably, probably the server in East Hampton. So they, gotta, they have a reason? There's somebody over there trying to fix it, but it doesn't seem to be working right okay, now. Okay, so you do have somebody working on it? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay, so special town meeting. Let's get back to a date, first of all. And the two dates that were starting to shake out were either July 26th or July 31st. I will tell you, everyone's available for the 26th, the moderator, the clerk, the accountant, myself. Uh, the 31st, if we wanted to go to the 31st, uh, the town accountant is on vacation and would not be available. Everybody else would. 26 you're saying okay I, I think I can work around that are you available Charlie mm -hmm. Nancy? Jim no I'm on vacation that week okay uh, you okay with not being there yeah, I'm fine okay so let's do it on the July 26th uh, this is going to be at Norris 6 p.m. Ed or do we need to do it later it would be at Norris Time is up to. Yeah, I would say 6 p.m. if we can get it in. Okay. Anybody else have an objection to that? No? Okay. And then just to let you know, the only piece of the puzzle that's a little bit out of norm is that the school is on summer vacation, so they do not have custodial staff there, so we would have to pay um, a two hour minimum for custodial staff and if it took longer than that for setup and what have you um, we would pay for that too at thirty dollars an hour I mean they normally have custodial staff and during the summer they all go in daytimes can't we ask one of them just to work a little different shift so mm -hmm. you don't have to pay extra that's not their contract for the summertime okay okay so we'll you'll take care of that uh, going back to the public hearing Ed, you've got to advertise that in the paper Yes. At least two weeks, so you'll take care of that? Yes, I had actually done it up for previously for the 10th when I found out that it was ready to go when I found out that they could not get it in uh, and publish it in time to meet that deadline. So I will, all I will do is change the, uh, the date on that and send it off to the Gazette tomorrow. Okay, we need to get that out there. Uh, you folks are here, the July 17th, 6 o'clock public hearing. Okay. <laughs> And uh, the public hearing will be here, it'll be part of the Board of Selectmen meeting, and the town meeting will be at uh, Norris. That's at 6 o'clock on the 26th. Okay, so at our open space meeting, we talked about uh, an update on the uh, appraisal. So we got, an, we got the appraisal, uh, and it came in at uh, 720,000 which is a good thing and we already we have the invoice in we have to pay that by the end of the fiscal year so that's being taken care of and that's being taken care of uh, out of CPC funds that's already been approved some questions went back to the attorney for the seller and the buyer about whether they would work with us on a uh, extending the time frames they asked for a schedule we sent them a schedule uh, they looked it over, had a few questions just today, I believe it was. So we gave them some general answers, and they're going to come back to us. So it's, it's going back and forth, which is a good thing. There was a concern with the dates. And if you recall, um, there was going to be a SEPA meeting on the 10th of July. Yeah. I met with Vicki Morley yeah, when we were earlier this week, yeah. and she was going to bring some items yeah, in. Yeah, 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 why don't you go? Cindy Palmer, 71 Glendale Road. So um, part of the open space um, consideration was to um, pay the retainer for the attorney representing the town. And um, we have the invoice on that. And in order to pay that, that has to go to, we were hoping to go fiscal year 2018-19. Right. Vicki told me that she is going to um, bring before the select board prior to July 15th yeah. a 
few items that need to right. be shored up. We have to reconcile year end. But you just changed the schedule of the select board meeting from the 10th to the 17th. No, they scheduled a special meeting for this the 17th. Oh, it's going this to still be special. one on the 10th? Yeah. Oh, apologies. Thank you very much. We never cancel. We just add to, Cindy. <laughs> but no, thanks for bringing that up. So it's, it's a work in process, uh, progress rather. So hopefully by the next meeting we'll have more information. Anything else in the town meeting or the public hearing from anybody? No? Okay. Any other necessary business that can't wait until July 10th regular select board meeting? Uh, there's one item which you have, uh, Council of Aging uh, Director brought me the contract for fiscal year 19 for uh, the FRTA for the use of the van. So that's there which needs to be signed before the new fiscal year. And didn't we discuss this at a prior meeting? No. <laughs> Not that I remember. Okay, so this is the demand response. <clears throat> is it similar to what we have now? Yes, it is. Okay, Any? what's the changes? Anything? Any change in cost or? I have not seen the change in cost or any uh, of the technicalities. It just seems to be updated to cover the new fiscal year. Yeah, it looks like July 1, 18 to June 30th, 19. <clears throat> I have I sure haven't read it since we just got it tonight. <clears throat> Does anybody feel comfortable with giving a motion on this tonight? So what's, the, what's the negative? What if we wait till next meeting? Is there a problem? No, well, then they probably won't have the use of the van for the first 10 days of the fiscal year. Could, I, could, could I recommend that maybe we authorize someone to sign it once we have all read it and, and agreed to it? Does that make sense? We can get back within the next day or so? Uh, I have no problem with that, uh, but uh, as long as I can read it first. How are we going to read it and agree to it if we're not in the meeting? <clears throat> yeah, if we have any questions, we uh, won't be able to want to authorize the chair to sign this based on his review, I don't have a problem with that. What if we don't discuss it? We just say, I have no questions. Yeah. And if we all have no questions, then it gets signed. I know, is that legal or not? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. I don't want to break any rules, but... Uh, kind of tiptoeing. I there. would really like to read it before I vote on something. Um, I agree. And it's like 15 pages long, so I don't think we're going to be able to take time to sit here and, and read it right now. Uh, it would be nice if they would have gotten to us sooner. Uh, I don't know if they had it any sooner, to be honest with you. Uh, and you're saying it would, it would hold up transportation services for the first 10 days of July? Well, you wouldn't have, if there's not a contract in place, you wouldn't be able to use the services. Yeah. And it takes them two weeks to process. You said it would hold well, the next days. select board's meeting is the 10th okay. of July. It could be acted on. Looks like they got, I have it, around, another question. got it around the 18th. Would they allow us to approve it for one month, 30 days? And then we can revisit it, just put a termination date of the end of July. Huh. And then that gives us, gives us time to look at it, and then we can vote on it. I'm just asking. Well, I was going to suggest maybe they, we go back and ask them for a 30-day extension on the current contract. I don't know if they That's, will do that. Yeah, but it doesn't sound like anybody's comfortable here okay. signing off. Make on a it. motion. You may. I move to authorize the chair to sign this based on his review. Yeah, I'll, I'll second that. Okay, so just as a conversation here, you feel comfortable with me going through it, and as long as it doesn't deviate tremendously from last year. You do contracts all the time. Right. No, I'm comfortable with it. Yeah. I just want to make sure I know what you folks are looking for. I guess I'm expressing confidence in you, John. I know that's hard. <laughs> okay. So if you're comfortable with that, I'm fine with it. I'll read it and get it back to Ed. But uh, it's still, it, you know, at the end of that, we'd still like to have a, you know, have a chance to look at it. I'm certainly authorizing. Yeah. If I find anything that's really out of the ordinary based on last year's contract, I won't sign it. How's that? That's okay. fine. Yeah, I think I would be good with that. Okay. So, all in favor? You need a Aye. second. Aye. Oh, s second. It. Second. It? Oh, sorry. sorry. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed?
Okay. Can we send the request to them next year? We get a little sooner. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice. Not and that's the problem with contracts. A lot of people wait until the end, but it does say June 18th is when they got it from FRTA. So that's what eight nine days ago. So maybe it took them that that long to turn it around. Okay. PCFs we have none. Licenses we have none. Warrants we have none. Other documents requiring signature we have none. Minutes to approve we have none. Reminds me of when I was in Catholic school. <laughs> Calendar and announcements. Select um, and meetings. Next meeting July 10th. We confirm that. Okay, anything else before we go to open time for the public? Okay, anybody out there would like to address the board? No? How about the rest of you, but I'm liking this meeting. It goes by pretty quick. Move to adjourn. Second. Any discussion? Okay, thanks for coming. Very good. Aye. Yeah, is there a vote on that? Aye.